My name is Michal Bocek and I work for Red Hat and uh, I take care of mainly uh, the development of uh, the utility called ConvertRel. I'll talk about it just in a second, but firstly, let me uh, start with this thing. So this, this uh, workshop uh, is uh, going to walk you through converting a CentOS 8 system. Uh, and uh, for those who haven't prepared for, for this, uh, please uh, get your CentOS 8 machine uh, started or download it right now. So because uh, this Vagrant setup, this Vagrant box has 900 uh, megabytes, so it can take a while to, to download. Uh, and yeah, if you have your CentOS machine ready, that's even better. So uh, I hope you all have uh, Vagrant installed. Um, I tried to send an email uh, uh, to all of you, all the participants who marked that they are going to uh, join this session. So uh, yeah, please try to, uh, if you haven't read that, try to install Vagrant on your system and then do these two steps, Vagrant init, CentOS slash 8, and Vagrant up. And this way it's going to start downloading the vagrant, vagrant image. So what is ConvertRel? It is an open source utility. Uh, we've open sourced it uh, in 2019. And this utility uh, allows you to migrate uh, your CentOS and or Oracle Linux system to the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. It's as simple as that. There's nothing more to it. And uh, this is just a visualized uh, how, how it works. So yeah, you have the CentOS or Oracle Linux system. You use, uh, use the convert to rel utility. We will use it today. And uh, you are brought to the Red Hat ecosystem. You, you get the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Um, yeah, uh, Nicola, can you please pose the poll? Oh, if it's not there already. Yeah, so there is a poll. Uh, you can, uh, you can uh, uh, answer if you are going to convert your own CentOS system or uh, if you are just starting up the Vagrant box, I suggest it, or if you have Oracle Linux instead of CentOS prepared for the conversion. And uh, so here, uh, I'll tell you about the steps, what, what the utility does. Uh, so once you start, uh, start it, execute it, uh, it analyzes the system. It uh, checks whether it's um, even possible th using this utility, then it, uh, uh, it checks if you have some third party packages installed. And if so, it will tell you that these are not going to be uh, converted. Uh, the utility converts on only those packages that are signed by the original system vendor that is either by CentOS or Oracle. And uh, it, uh, it gets the list of the rel repositories that are needed for the conversion. Then the convert part, it removes some excluded packages. These are those that we know that cause some conflicts. Uh, so we, we remove them beforehand. You are, you are warned about that and you can stop the conversion bef before uh, it continues if you, if you don't like that. And uh, then we install uh, the subscription related packages because Red Hat Enterprise Linux requires a subscription and then it subscribes the system and starts replacing all the packages. Uh, and then once the packages are replaced, 
uh, you are asked to reboot the system uh, just to to ensure that you are booted into the newly installed rel kernel and uh, let's get to the next slide so where does the tool takes the uh, red hat enterprise linux packages from it depends what uh, you choose there are two possibilities you you can either um, uh, use custom repositories uh, that means that you it's on your it's your responsibility to get the rel repositories from somewhere you can uh, for example download the dvd iso image uh, and mount it or you may have already some rel system installed that system already has access to the rel repos and you can repo sync them uh, and copy them to uh, to a low to have them available locally on the on the centos system or you can make them available through web server or ftp server and so on so that is the more let's say more uh, more uh, difficult approach but the easier one is to use the red hat uh, subscription manager uh, and we'll be using that today on, on our workshop and through the subscription manager you can connect by default to the red hat cdn uh, or for companies who have a larger set of machines they need to to manage they usually use uh, red hat satellite six server and yeah that's also the uh, the possibility to use for the conversion so here, here I'm just going to note that there is a that the utility implement has implemented uh, a uh, basic rollback uh, capability, and uh, this rollback, if if there is any failure during the conversion, it reverts all the actions that uh, that the utility has taken, but only up up to so called point of no return and the tool warns you about this point of no point of no return and this point is right before replacing all all of the packages and uh, yeah just mentioning here that um, the users are expected to have a, a complete system backup um, before running running the tool before the conversion so here we get to how uh, how to how to get uh, the rel subscription which is necessary uh, for running red hat enterprise linux so in this workshop we'll be uh, using or talking about the no cost red hat developer subscription for individuals and this subscription is uh, for for any in, in individual it's not for for companies organizations and so on but anyone who's uh, who joined the session today so basically anyone can can get this sub subscription at no cost and with this subscription you can subscribe and receive updates for up to 16 uh, systems you get no support from red hat it's self self support and uh, we will now get to uh, how to how to create a red hat account with the associated uh, subscription so i'm just going to check if anyone has uh, replied to the poll probably not or maybe i'm just not seeing the result so uh, creating the Red Hat account, which is necessary for getting the subscription. So please go to the access.redhat.com and click on the, the figure out icon in the top right corner. And now I can probably show you that live.
So opening access.reddit.com, clicking on the uh, figure icon and clicking on register. This will get you to a form which you need to fill in. I'll give you uh, some time to fill it out. Maybe you can, yeah, I'll give you just some time. So please choose the personal account. Um, it's, uh, it's the one that we need if we want to get the uh, developer subscription for individuals and yeah. I'll just give you some time. In the meantime, I will log into my already created personal account. Okay, Q&A, definitely let me check the question. Is there any plan to offer CentOS replacement for enterprise? Something like self-support or whatever. So actually the, um, the subscription I talked about, the no cost Red Hat developer subscription for individuals, um, you can use it in in production as well, given but only in case you have 16 servers or less. Um, so this is not for, so when you talk about enterprise, you probably mean a bigger company, not just 16 servers. And in that case, you need, if you want to run RHEL, you need to buy the subscriptions, the regular subscriptions, but yeah, otherwise I, I don't think there is anything provided at least by Red Hat. So I, I'll give you one more, more minute for complete the account creation. All right, so uh, I hope you have all created the, the account um, that you locked, uh, are logged in. And uh, now let's, uh, let's go to the subscription page uh, under the Red Hat customer portal. That is the web, uh, website access.redhat.com and click on the subscription in the top left corner what we just need to do now is to get is to create a uh, so-called activation key through which we will subscribe uh, the system. Uh, so here uh, you can uh, click on manage and under manage you get to activation keys. And I actually already have the demo key here. I will just remove it and create it once again. So please create a new activation key. You have you have none so far as a, as a new user. So click on the new activation key. You can name it as a demo key, ideally. That's what, what I use in, in the subsequent steps. And don't forget to check 
this uh, uh, this subscription red hat developer subscription for individuals you can leave the rest as as it is by default okay so considering you have the demo key created please note uh, this uh, this act, uh, sorry organization id we will need this organization id uh, in further steps it's it's unique for for each of you so just copy and paste it somewhere and we'll use it in in a while I'll give you a couple of seconds to catch up. It's hard to tell without the direct connection with the audience how far you are. Maybe you can just tell me in the chat if I'm too too fast or too slow. Okay, so I will move on to the terminal and uh, let's uh, let's get to uh, the Vagrant box. So I will consider the the pro uh, that you've taken the approach of using the Vagrant box. I will actually I have already done the Vagrant in it. So let me just go to the right folder and uh, I so I'm in the folder where I've done the vagrant in it as I talked in the first step and uh, right now I will just uh, do vagrant up so it will okay probably I haven't done vagrant Vagrant in it here yet, so I'll do it do it the same way as you. Okay, vagrant in it, vagrant up. So vagrant up will start the the, the v, VM virtual machine. That should take just a couple of seconds. This is gonna be just uh, totally clean EM. I think prepared for for us. So I'll run Vagrant SSH, which will get us to the uh, to the virtual machine. We are logged in as a Vagrant user, so uh, we will need actually the the root root privileges so let me just run sudo dash i to get uh, login as root and now we need to install convert to rel that's actually just one of the two two steps to run convert to rel is just first is to uh, is to download the package and actually i need to copy that from some other place because this gives me a broken command. Okay, yum install. And you can see that uh, we currently host the packages in GitHub. Um, and yeah, that's just where we have the, the latest release at the moment. Okay, convert rel is installed, and right now we need to run 
uh, convert to rel to start the conversion. So I will uh, let you, uh, give you a couple uh, of seconds to to have the convert rel installed. Maybe you struggled with copying, copying and pasting this this command the same as I. So. And in the meantime, I'm already preparing this command to, to run convert to rel. Uh, so you can also copy paste this, this, uh, this command from, from the slides. Uh, I hope you have them avail avail available. Um, I, if, you, if you don't see the slides, I made uh, the link available through the description of, of the workshop, but I can paste the link also here to the chat. So you can copy and paste the convert to rel command. So the first parameter or option is the, is the activation key. We named it the demo underscore key. The second one is dash O that's, that stands for the organization ID. That's the ID I told you to, to make, uh, to copy uh, when creating the activation key. I'll get back to it. It's, it's this one. And you have uh, your own unique one. So we just use that one. And I'm uh, also using the dash dash debug option that will just give us more output, including what commands are running under the under the hood during the conversion. And actually, yeah. So I don't see any comments, so I'm gonna just run the, the command um, to start with the conversion. So first you are presented with the end user license agreement. So by continuing, just uh, you, you, you accept the agreement. Again, I sent uh, in the email beforehand that uh, also, uh, also in the, the event description that this uh, EULA is necessary to uh, read through and accept so i'll try to go ahead i hope you you've done that or the other way is to just accept without reading it so i'm gonna hit yes and uh, now it checks the system if it's supported by the tool And now it, it tells us uh, what third party packages are installed on the system. Right now it detects only the convert to rel tool. It's not signed by this CentOS uh, GPG key, so it considers it as a, as a third party. And also I should mention that um, if you use uh, the regular Red Hat subscription for RHEL. Uh, upon converting the system, uh, the, the resulting RHEL system is automatically eligible for Red Hat support. This is not the case with the developer subscription because that comes with no support, but just uh, I wanted to tell you that because here is the sentence that Red Hat support won't be provided for third party packages. Okay, so right now it starts to download uh, the subscription manager necessary for subscribing the system. And 
I'll make the window bigger. And now it uh, starts to subscribing the system using using what uh, those options we provided. That means the activation key and the, the organization ID. This usually takes a couple of seconds. Contacts the Red Hat subscription servers. In the meantime, if you have any other questions, and I can see another question in the Q&A. So any plan to create low-cost self-support option for businesses to replace CentOS with, with RHEL? So the only, uh, the only thing I, I know of right now uh, is the subscription we are using now that's the no cost one. And I'm not really sure about the future uh, subscription possibilities that, that will come uh, the low cost ones. That's uh, not, not released, not, not available at the, at the moment. So I can't tell, sorry. Yeah, we just use the no cost one. It gives you subscription for up to 16 servers at no cost. So in the meantime, I will scroll up. The system got subs subscribed and I'll let me scroll up. So yeah, we got subscribed and now the sub, uh, the convert to rel enables uh, the, the right repositories. Um, it detected that we need uh, these two repositories, rel8, base OS and AppStream. They got enabled and uh, now there are some packages that uh, are to be removed. They are mainly CentOS only related. So here we need to agree with uh, those packages being removed. Now the packages actually, those that are to be removed are first downloaded. That's for the case of the rollback I talked about. So if anything fails now, those removed packages would be installed back. Right, so uh, now we hit the point of no return. That is after this point, all the packages uh, are to be replaced. So let's hit yes. And first is the kernel and then and the rest. So now, now it's gonna take a couple of minutes to replace all the packages. So in the meantime, uh, let me switch to the slides and I'll tell you how to um, how to run convert rel with uh, with ansible uh, non-interactively in in an automated fashion but before that I want to just uh, mention that there is currently a gap uh, in the in the uh, utility functionality and that is uefi so if your system is based on uh, UEFI, 
uh, after the conversion, you need to do a couple of manual steps uh, so that you can uh, reboot without without a problem. So those interested can go uh, to this link and uh, I'll get to the Ansible. And we don't have much time, so I'll probably just talk you through that and you can probably try that uh, at, uh, on, on your own. So this is the simplest way, um, at least from my point of view, the simplest uh, way how to use Ansible to run convert to rel. So this is the playbook. And uh, it's basically the same what we have done manually. So the first is to install convert to rel through yum. And uh, this, is, yeah, this is the same URL we, we used before. And then we run this, the same command. The only difference here is the dash y option. The dash y option uh, just answers yes to all questions. You could see in, in the demo uh, that I was hitting yes manually to a couple of questions. So yeah, using this dash y, uh, the, the conversion runs non-interactively until the end, until the system is, is converted. And uh, then you need to tweak the Vagrant file uh, also a bit. So it depends when you, how you want to run the Ansible playbook. But because we, we have used uh, the Vagrant box setup, uh, so I just uh, added a couple of lines to the Vagrant file, which is what you, what you have in uh, the folder in which you, you ran Vagrant in it the Vagrant file has been automatically created. You just need to edit it and yeah, paste this content there. It just means that we are adding a new provisioning setup for the conversion running the convert rel YAML. That's the playbook we created uh, well, in the previous step convert to rel yaml with this content and then you just run vagrant up with this the option provision with conversion that's this this name conversion and yet yeah, it's gonna do the thing for you and let me just see whether the conversion what's the state of that at the moment so if I scroll up, yeah, we are currently replacing the packages. So it's still going to take probably a couple more minutes. And uh, we've got uh, six minutes, so I will go further. Um, if, if you see any issue with the tool during the testing of, of yours, or if you see how, how it could be improved, we would be really glad if you contribute. And uh, I can see Neil is uh, in, uh, on, the, on this uh, workshop. So thank you, Neil, you've already contributed. And uh, yeah, I'm looking at the chat. Okay. Uh, so here's the GitHub repository you can contrib contribute to. The Python code is, is pretty easy to underst understand, I believe. And uh, yeah, the team who, who works on this tool is, is welcoming to, to everyone. And uh, I, I would say pretty responsive. At least we try to, to be as much as possible. And I've got a prize for you. So if you create a pull request in that uh, repository and uh, adding the label devconf, or maybe just mentioning it in, in the description, uh, and, and you, you do that contribution until the end of March, uh, we will send you a t-shirt with convert to rel theme. Next slide. 
yeah, there is a link to uh, discussions uh, on GitHub. If you have any question after the workshop, just, uh, just ask there. And uh, you can definitely report, report a bug or request a feature. You do, you do that through, again, GitHub, uh, through the GitHub issues. And if you file a bug report, please attach the log file. That's gonna help us a lot because the log file uh, contains actually all the outputs that you can also see on uh, on the terminal um, when when you run run the two. And uh, that's it from me. I will uh, just show show the output of the the conversion. Uh, on the background and now is the Q&A time. So any questions, you can just ask for the permission to to uh, share the audio and you can ask right away using microphone or even in the chat if you want. Yeah, I can see that the conversion is gonna take a couple more minutes, uh, but I believe it's gonna finish until the end of the workshop, hopefully. And uh, yeah, there is a new key, uh, question in the Q&A has to be the PR merged to get the t-shirt or just any PR is rewarded? Oh, I, I believe uh, that uh, any PR created will eventually get, get merged. We, we can just uh, make it work together. So the answer would be any PR you create. <laughs> and I, I hope you're not gonna create just some random change that that makes uh, uh, no sense but yeah and yeah And about the low cost uh, subscriptions, I would just uh, reiterate that please uh, stay, uh, you, can, you, you can follow the news from Red Hat. I believe uh, maybe the, the Red Hat blog probably can be the, the, right, uh, the right place to look at, maybe the Red Hat Twitter. I, I'm sure that uh, Red Hat is looking for a new ways how to allow uh, bigger businesses who that have more than 16 servers to to get subscription uh, as a let's say alternative to CentOS 8 and uh, yeah so just look for the news. <laughs> 